Hello, everyone. In this video, we will demonstrate the process of activating a new Cortex XDR tenant. During this how to session, we will highlight prerequisites for activation, accessing the Cortex gateway, activating the tenant, and finally accessing the tenant. The Cortex XDR tenant is at the heart of the XDR product, regardless of whether you are a prevent, pro per endpoint, and or pro per terabyte customer. The tenant is where we create installation packages, create and manage protection policies, and it is where alerts and incidents are sent and displayed for triage and action by incident responders. This is a one-time task, unless you procure additional tenants based on your organizational needs. So let's get started. Before you get started, you must have the Cortex XDR activation email and your account must have the CSP support user role assignable from the customer support portal. Start by clicking the activation link in the email or by going to cortex-gateway.paloaltonetworks.com. This is the landing page for activating new tenants, accessing existing tenants, and managing role-based access controls for all of your tenants. On reaching this page, you can sign in using your CSP account credentials. You will be required to complete multi-factor authentication when you first do this by receiving a code to your email. Once you sign in, you will see your tenant under Available for Activation. Click Activate to get started. You must first select the CSP account for your company where you want to create the tenant. You can see existing Palo Alto Networks products associated with each CSP account to aid you in choosing the correct account. Please bear in mind that once provisioned, your tenant cannot be moved to a different CSP account. If you have multiple CSP accounts and are unsure of which to use, please reach out to your account and or sales team for assistance. Once you have selected the appropriate CSP account, you will be asked for information about the new tenant, including a tenant name, which is a friendly name that will be displayed, the geographic region where your tenant will be hosted, the tenant subdomain, which is the public DNS record associated with your tenant, a Cortex data lake. Typically, you will select activate new data lake at this point and a directory sync agent. Typically, as a new Cortex XDR customer, you will not have an existing directory sync agent. You can leave this blank and we can complete this at a later time. When you are satisfied with the configuration, click activate. You will receive a confirmation prompt and after confirmed, activation will begin. The activation process can take up to an hour and does not require you to remain on the activation page. If you attempt to visit your tenant before the activation is complete, you may receive error messages. However, once activated, these issues should not persist. If after one hour, your tenant still has not activated, please contact customer support. Now that you have successfully activated your tenant, you can access it through the Cortex gateway and start creating installation packages, protection policies, and other configurations, as well as viewing and responding to incidents in your environment. In summary today, we have identified the activation email, as well as the customer support portal super user role as prerequisites to activating a new tenant. We use this activation email to log into the Cortex gateway and provision the tenant, and we accessed our new tenant via the gateway. You can access additional training materials via Beacon and the live community, including additional how-to videos like this one to perform additional configuration and use your Cortex XDR tenant. Thank you for your time. Welcome to Cortex XDR and have a great day.